Hi everyone, Kevin Mercurio for Les Inspections Mercurio. Today I'd like to take a minute just to explain some important elements to uh, examine on your electrical panel. This is something a homeowner can do themselves just to make sure everything on your electrical panel is in working order. Now as an inspector, uh, one of the things we see often is the use of improper screws on an electrical panel. So sometimes the screws that are used to fasten the cover to the electrical panel uh, those are not the right screws. Sometimes they're wood screws and what you should be using is a blunt screw that doesn't have a pointy tip because that risks going inside and piercing one of the cables and that could short circuit one of the breakers or cause a fire in your electrical panel. So that's something to look at. Usually you'll notice them they have a flat head and you know if somebody used a, a wood screw it'll be fairly different from the rest of the screws. You'll be able to point it out quite, quite uh, quickly. Um, another thing to consider is a lot of times breakers uh, are moved around, uh, you're adding a new uh, a whirlpool tub or you're adding a new spa in your backyard and there are knockouts that are left open and that gives access to the bus bar in the back of the electrical panel which is energized so these are things that you have to consider if that's the case in your home there are these uh, clips that you can buy at hardware stores that just snap into the cutouts and they block access to the uh, the internal components of the uh, electrical uh, distribution panel so that's something to consider if you have those openings on your panel uh, also the entry points for the cables that are on the sides or depending on the orientation of your uh, distribution panel those have to be sealed properly uh, you'll see uh, grommets that are allowing the cable to enter the uh, distribution panel. Make sure that all of the cables entering the distribution panel have those uh, grommets so that the cable can't be pulled back or it can't move or it can't allow entry of uh, mice and rodents uh, that can get into the panel and they can short circuit your panel again or short circuit a breaker and uh, cause a fire. Um, location. Uh, a lot of times we see uh, electrical panels in closets, uh, electrical panels, uh, distribution panels, excuse me, in uh, closets, uh, pantries, uh, staircases, washrooms. These are places that you should not have uh, distribution panels installed in, uh, either because of restriction, restricted excuse me, access or because of the presence of a water source nearby. Sometimes there are electrical panels that are in pantries right beside uh, a water heater. If something should happen, if the water heater should develop a leak, it's near energized electrical components and that's something we do not want to see. Uh, and clearance, an electrical panel should, it's the center of the electrical panel should always be five feet from the floor. Uh, it can be higher, like in our case here, you see it's a pretty tall electrical panel. Um, if you're a short homeowner in the event of an emergency, you're going to have a hard time getting to that top breaker if you need to turn it off in emergency. I'm 5'11". If somebody's a bit shorter, it's going to be difficult. So that's just something to consider when you're shopping for a new home. And you should have three feet clearance in front of the panel. So uh, nothing stored in front of the panel in case you need to get access to it. This is a multiplex, so we have safety switches for the other tenants. That's difficult to get to if you need to get to that in uh, an emergency. Uh, so these are things to consider. You don't have to put your hands in the panel. It's not scary. It's not dangerous. Just things that you could look over as a homeowner. And that's all I have for you guys today. If you found this helpful, uh, leave a comment. Uh, I'll put a little descrip description excuse me, for those, uh, those covers that you can buy at the hardware store. I'll put a, description in the, uh, a link in the description of this video where you can buy them and how much they cost. Uh, very handy things if you have those openings. Uh, yeah, so if you liked the video, leave a comment. Um, Share it for other people to see it. it might be beneficial, it might save someone's life. You never know. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.